Hello everybody and welcome back to the Valley of the Old Farm. It's been a while since the last episode actually, so I'll just remind you of what's going on and what we have. We have all these fields here, uh, we have the forest up here, and we also have a small field down here for sugar bee, which I'm going to I'm gonna go to in a second because I'm actually on this field here at the moment. Uh, if I, yeah, so we've already... Um, fertilize this field with slurry and I need to drive out here and go to field 73 but I'd also like to show you uh, what we have in terms of productions we have uh, the oil mill we have the vegetable garden which you always get on this map we have the great processing unit which I need to fill up and we have the sawmill there's loads and loads of planks in there and we probably need to buy the carpentry quite soon because we have like a surfeit of of planks and we need to start making pallets so we can we can we can have the there's like a greenhouse uh or greenhouses in the town just up here somewhere it's just by the shop and i always get confused where it's i think it's on here so anyway let's get into the where am i where is it where are we <laughs> let's get into our massey ferguson here and let's go down to field 73. Now, I just want to mention another game called No Man's Sky, which you might have heard of. It's a seven-year-old game, and it's had now about 20 updates. And anything come in? No. I have to turn right out of here, by the way. Not one of the updates, you have to restart the game from scratch. So I'm wondering why, on this kind of, uh, this little map, we have an update on it at the moment to fix various things and frustratingly you have to restart from scratch which I can't do because I'd have to go all the way back to the beginning and do everything again you know off screen I'd have to spend hours doing it so I'm gonna stick with the original map and I never ever ever gonna update it um, but in the update it said things like oh we fixed the flying carpets and we fixed this that's flying and that that's flying and I haven't seen any of this stuff and I would like to see flying carpets basically you know and also um, I'm not Czech but Czech, the Czech language was introduced in the update and that's only going to be a complication for me because I can't speak anything apart from English and that not always very well so it's no punishment to me not to have Czech, a Czech language in there. If you're Czech I apologise but uh, you know I'm, I'm not and uh, for me it's a language I don't speak so uh, I'll just keep it simple and have the English language I think. So anyway this is going to take a while so I will see you when I get to, down to field 73. Okay, here we are at field 73. I always know it because of this nice barn on the side. So, right, uh, it's not a big field, so this won't take very long, but I just need to fertilise it with slurry. Um, I should have gone to the cows to pick up free slurry, but unfortunately I didn't. So, anyway, I will see you when this is done. Okay, so um, the plan is we have these two fields here, the ones we've just slurried. Uh, let's just turn this off and fold it up. We we'll actually need to send it back, but uh, the plan is to put oat in one and uh, yeah, uh, sugar beet in the other one. So I just need to make sure that I could, yeah, oat is March or April and sugar beet is March or April. So the next thing we have to do is to lime the field put lime on it but the first thing we're going to do today is find two collectibles which I've found offline and one of which I think is at the sawmill let's just uh, go to the sawmill which is up here and I think it's this one here let's go to it I think it's this one yes it is it's up there so let's fly if we didn't if we weren't on the PC we could we'd have to use a, a telehandler but it's up here and I found this by myself actually um, I've been looking up high for things and this little fella down here is a collectible. <laughs> so I'm going to keep all the money because I found him myself and this is my rule. I'm going to find stuff myself and not cheat by looking it up on, on, 
online and the other one uh let me think where the other one was it was at the biogas plant that's where it was and the biogas plant is here i think yeah so um let me just think about this now if i could, if i fly it's on like this southernmost one i think this one here uh, let me just see if i can find it Yeah, he's just down here, so let me just see if I can pick him up. Yeah. Okay, now what I want to do next is to fill up... Uh, let's just fly out of here. <laughs> is to fill up um, our greenhouse at home. Let's just see if I can get to it. Yeah, this greenhouse here, because I'm trying to make loads of grapes to sell in May, because in May... The price for grapes is 1,301, but uh, I'd like to have a, a big store of grapes building up. So what I'm gonna do, we've got some money now. Last time I put 20,000 liters of each. If I show you the production actually, you see in the top right there, last time I put 20,000 liters of each thing in there. Now I'm gonna put 30,000 liters in. There's already 50,000 liters of water. So um, I'm gonna do this all on a big old fast forward. Right, this has taken me absolutely ages to do it. I don't think I'll be doing this again in the series, filling this up, because it takes too long. But in the um, production now, you can see over on the right-hand side, you can see that the maths in the middle. You need 200 litres of water um, and uh, half of that in seeds, which we've got, and then a quarter of what you need in water in solid fertilizer and herbicide so we've got all of that stuff and we should be making loads and loads and loads of grapes to sell in may and i'm not going to do anything more in this in this um greenhouse because I've, I've i've had enough so basically i need to send this back uh i need to send a slurry tanker back yeah that's fine and the this this back as well so the plan now is um for our fields the two fields i mentioned earlier which were uh, what are the numbers now? 63 down here and 73 down down there. Um, I need to get a lime spreader and a planter because I would like to plant sugar beet today and maybe maybe put the oats in the ground tomorrow. So let's find ourselves a lime spreader and I'm going to go for the normal... Any, any discounts in here? No, I don't think so. <laughs> so let's find a pretty pretty big one, which is going to be the, the breedle here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it the bigger one have the spreading discs and just rent this and while we're at it let's find ourselves a planter because we're going to need, to need a planter for um the uh the sugar beet so i normally go for the kinsey one which is this one here so a, a direct planter so we'll have this as well okay right then let's get everything organized and get to the first field with the lime spreader I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who's subscribed to my channel because I've now managed to... Oh, for God's sake, flipping heck, French drivers, good grief. I've now managed to monetize my channel even though uh, YouTube tells me when I log in nothing has been... There's, there's no money in there and I haven't had any money, not one single penny. But anyway, uh, I've only monetized it yesterday. It was a complicated procedure actually, much much more complicated than I thought it was going to be uh, to finally, you know, go on like, you have to do such a lot yourself, you know, YouTube doesn't do it or you have to kind of do it. But 
um, it's all to do with Google AdSense and one thing and another and um, the money comes from America and you have to fill out a form to say you know you shouldn't pay any tax and all this kind of thing and it's quite complicated actually but uh, thank you for everybody who's allowed me to to well in theory monetize my channel <laughs> even though um, if you want to help me actually just watch the adverts at the start and don't skip them because I think that helps me to you know get a bit of money coming in I've done it myself kind of thing you know watch watch my own video and watch the watch the uh, watch the adverts at the, at the start and I'm waiting to see if that's earned me anything you know by just watching adverts on my own <laughs> videos basically but if you can if you're so inclined please restart the um, video when you finished or whatever and watch the watch the just watch the videos at the start and then you can and then you can stop because it will help me I think if I've understood it correctly so anyway let's get this finished right what I think I'll do is drive over to field 63 oh, I've missed a few bits actually Yeah, drive over to, over to field 63 and do that, lime that on a uh, course play and then bring the planter down here. So I'll see you when I get over to field 63. All right, so field 63. So uh, let's just get onto the field a little bit and then get lined up. All right, let's try and sort out course play. There, started. That's fine. Okay, so as he's doing this, um, I think I will take the the fast track here and take the planter and go to field 73, the small field, and put sugar beet in there. And then we've just got one more thing to do, which is to put oats into field 73 that's being limed at the moment. So, all right, let's get this sorted out. This is a, a complicated day, but <laughs> we'll get through it somehow. So I'm going to take the Kinsey planter and I'll see you down at 73. All right, this is a big planter for such a small field, but uh, it's the best one to use, I think. But anyway... Um, I'm still having some lag problems, but I'm, I'm planning to use my YouTube money, if I ever get any, to, to buy a new computer. But uh, I can't really afford to do it unless I get some money from YouTube. But anyway, uh, let's, uh, hopefully it doesn't uh, spoil your enjoyment too much. So, right, let's choose to put in here a uh, sugar beet. Yeah, that's fine. And then turn it on. Let's just do a little bit of a time lag. I wonder what our precision farming score is now. I mean, we do treat our fields like royalty sometimes, you know, all the precision farm that we, farming that we do. Um, and I'd like to see what the score is now, particularly as I've just sort of finished drilling this field. Um, let's just have a look, actually. Go to precision farming. Our main score is 58. So these ones, what are the scores on these fields here? 57, 57. I mean, before we harvest them, they're going to be this sort of score aren't they what about this one 62 this this is our healthiest field actually there's no silty clay in it and it's all what is that uh loam and sandy loam so all right let's uh swing round and get back to the farm and i think what i'll do is skip to tomorrow uh oh <laughs> skip to tomorrow and then we'll put the oats in Okay, see you in the morning. Okay, I think once we put the oats in the ground today, there's not much else to do 
until May uh, because we have to harvest in May. Um, so I might, have to, I might just skip through April. But anyway, what, the thing I need to do today is put oats in the ground. So let's find ourselves a direct drill, which is going to... Any bargains? Any bargains? Uh, nope. <laughs> uh, so uh, the direct drill I want is going to be... This one. Let's rent this one. And I will use the Massey Ferguson for this. So let's get down to field. I'm always confused what number is it. I think it's field 63. And I'll see you down there. Okay, so this is field... 63 and it's still got the I don't know how to clear course play once it's on a field but I'm going to do it by by hand kind of thing in inverted commas basically I'm going to do it myself uh, I'm not going to use course play I'm going to do it myself because I need to keep you know practicing things in farming otherwise I'll lose touch so um, let's make sure we're putting in here uh, oat yes yes oat okay that's fine and let's go Well, I hope that next time we'll finally be into May. I'll, I would like to get to May as soon as possible, actually. So this is the only thing to do today, I think. And then uh, we'll, we'll switch to April. Um, maybe, oh yeah, you have to re-fertilize the fields, don't you? And, uh, and uh, do the herbicide as well. But I think this is all I can do for today. So thanks very much for watching. If there's an advert at the end of the episode, please watch it because it might, it might pay me something, I'm not sure. And uh, see you again next time. Bye for now.